That's the one you do. It's, it's been, a, been a long time since I've been around this area. It's a blessing to be here. And begin to play the worship and praise the Lord again here in Oklahoma. So it's been a uh, Quite a few years since I've been here to get to play and get to exhort. And I know all the ministers that y'all know. I, I played with a lot of musicians over the years. I really in, in, enjoy the Lord, how He moves in everybody's lives. Yes, come on, come on. And, you know, I, as I began to listen to ministers and preachers, all, you know, everyone. You know, we're we're all one body in the Come Lord. On, Come on. There's only there's only one God. Yeah. The Bible says there's only one God. Yeah. And there's one body. Uh -huh. And that's where we all come together as as children of God. You know, we we supposed to be all in one mind, one come accord. On. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and sing the same song. You know, remember Paul said, "Hey, I, how come y'all come to church?" I, I, one has this song, one has this word. Oh. <laughs> you know, but as we begin in these last days, because it is the last days. Yes, you know, it is. Yes, many it is. years ago, when I was a little kid, the Lord showed me His return. Uh -huh. I, I seen Him coming. Yeah. Just like he's, before I ever knew anything about the Bible or the Lord or anything, as a little kid, the Lord came to me and, and revealed this stuff to me. You know, I didn't know nothing about this, but the Lord had mercy on me. You know what he told me? Come on. He said, tell the people that I'm coming back. Come on, man. Come on. I'm coming back for a church, my my, my church. Uh-huh. Come on. You know, he said, I'm coming back. He said, tell the, you know, tell everybody. And I'm a little kid. And I said, you know, I said, okay, what up? You know, so I'm telling y'all tonight from a from long time ago. The Lord told me to tell you, hey, you know, get ready. Oh, yeah. The Lord's coming back. You know, yeah. He's got one church, one body, one spirit. Oh. You know, I begin as I begin study all these years. I I seen uh, there's a lot of things in here that you know we we kind of overlook. Uh -huh. You know, He said these scriptures are for teaching, for reproof, oh. you know, to correct us. Yeah. And He said uh, these Old Testament, New Testament, it was written. Uh, a foretime for our learning, our understanding, uh -huh. yes. that we may learn from the, the Old Testament, yes. which combines with the New, and it just, oh, it just fits together perfect. Uh -huh. So as I began to listen to all a lot of ministers, you know, he was talking about A.A. Allen, Miracle Valley. I've been there as a kid, too. Uh, uh, Don Stewart, you know, <laughs> he was saying, whoever you ask, all, my, all the kids who have uh, fathers are ministers. <laughs> so I said, hey, my my father is, is the Lord, so hey, I'm going to go up there. So I went up there, and my mom was saying, why'd you go up there? <laughs> and I said, well, my, my father's decent. So that's the first time I ever got slain in the spirit as a kid. When I was drunk, I couldn't even get up. I could not walk. And I was like, oh, my Lord. And, man, that presence, I will never forget it. And in a lot of services, you know, I, I feel that presence of the Lord, you know, oh, that anointing oh, from, 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 the, from the Lord. Because yeah. that's where it comes from. But He's been teaching me through through these years. And and, and I want to tell the church that, that it's time to really get in Come on now. Come on. into your word. Come Let on. the Lord lead you, guide yeah. you. Yeah. You know, because it's there for... for it was written before before we were even born. Come on. Before we even were created, God said, I knew you before you weren't yeah. before you weren't even here. Yeah. So he knows our mistakes. He knows you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. But he says a lot of ministers, I mean the people in general, they say, Well, I can't be perfect. Nobody's perfect. But in the word that y'all read in there, they said, Be ye perfect, for my father which is in heaven perfect. Come on that. Come on. Man. What's, you know, I said, hey, come on. Let's talk spiritually. 
Get, you got to get to that point where, where, where God begins to speak to you and give you understanding of what He says. Yeah. You know, I'll give you an example. Remember in Matthew, he okay, his uh, disciples were sitting. They all came together. Uh -huh. in Matthew, into Matthew, and he says, he's got all his twelve around him, and he's talking just to them. Because remember, he said first, he said in the church, I said apostles. Uh -huh. And so that's the beginning of the church. He got his twelve apostles, and he said, hey, I want you to uh, go into all the world, teaching, baptizing people. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay? So, look at this. As his fellow apostles are sitting around him, the Lord, actually God, our Savior, is explaining to them. But you know what? They understood what he said. When he said, go baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So if you read in Acts... Did they baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? Paul didn't. There's two apostles. If you read Acts, you all read Acts, you understand. He, did, he baptized them in the name of Lord Jesus and Jesus Christ. But they began to understand what he meant when he was sitting there talking to them. So the understanding... When you read it, let the Lord begin to teach you and lead you. Because every what every word in there find it, it fits together perfectly. And sometimes the Lord will reveal this stuff to you because He set that foundation of His church with the apostles. Yeah. Ephesians, Galatians. So He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, right? Yeah. So some of those <laughs> Some of those scriptures, you know, it's, we want to rip out. Well, we, we, I don't want to do this part because it says this. That's for the old church. But no, he says, my words. I'm today, yesterday, and I'm here forever. So, my word to the church is to, to get in there and really seek the Lord and read it more. Because as you read it more... He'll begin to reveal and, and give you an understanding of what he's saying. Because sometimes we overlook things. Because we're used to our own traditions of the church, you know, how we do things. But God's, in these last days, going to be bringing up that first church. Amen. You know, it's going to be strict. He said, okay, what, what God is, I mean, what's his religion? <laughs> what God said. Did God say, be Baptist? You know, I'm not getting on it. <laughs> he said, got to be Baptist, Methodist, what? No, God said, what did God say? God said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Yes, yes. So that's what it boils down to is this this walk, is that's what it's got to be. So I thank the Lord for each and every one of you that the Lord is coming back. Without a church, without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, and you can't be perfect in the Lord, because He says you can. If you say you can't, then you're going against. Why go against His word? <laughs> Don't go against His word, because everything He says is true and faithful in there. So we we can't go against Him. So anytime you disagree with something written in the Scriptures, you're going against God Himself. Remember, He said, "My I, my word became flesh and dwelt among men." My word became flesh. In the beginning, remember he said, let there be light. That word that he began to speak, that was Jesus. Because he said, my word became flesh. So it's not separated. Because he said, my word became flesh and dwelt among men. That was his Lord and Savior. To redeem us. His word walked and talked. Everything... Jesus said, everything I do, the Father. I do nothing of myself. It's the Father who does it within me. So as, so every word that is written in our Bibles, that is faithful and true. So as I begin to grow in the Lord, I used to go against what was written sometimes. I don't want to do that. I, that's, you know, it goes against my tradition, my end <laughs> tradition, you know. But, but when God looks
looks at is, he don't see black, white, native. He don't, he created all that. He looks at what's in, on the inside, our spirit, our soul, our, you know, the things that were made in his image. So, church, <laughs> let's begin to act like him, talk like him, walk like him. <laughs> because, you know, that's what it's going to take. So I thank the Lord for His Word that became flesh and well and was able to save my soul. You know, because He says there's only two places. Two places. So, in these last days, let's begin to, you know, begin to walk fellowship with our Lord. You know, He sent these apostles and prophets and you know, he's, he's got an order in the church. We know that. So, that ministry is coming back. And it's going to be strict. It's going to hurt everybody's feelings because we're used to doing it our way. But if we begin to read and get in there in depth of what it exactly says, I mean, we can't go against it because God's always, His word is faithful and true. And I, I, I love it. I love each and every one of you. Because that's what it's about, church. Coming together. Glorifying God. Loving one another. You know, encouraging one another. You know, the first church, they didn't lack nothing. You know why? <laughs> because of the love and the presence of the Lord. None of them lacked nothing. That's the unity that was the first church. As they began to get together and do things... Man, that was powerful. When it, but look out, there's there's a warning there. He even warned us in the scriptures because as the church became one and they began to sell all their goods and come together, and nobody needed anything because because of the love in our hearts, you know. You want to help your brother, you want to give to your brother, you know. You see somebody in need, you help them. That's the love of God. But. There's also a, you know, Ananias and Sephora, you know, they came, <laughs> when they begin to uh, think they're cheating God, you know, between themselves, you know, that he said, you're not talking to my servant here, you're talking to me. And we know what happened to them, so in these last days when God began to speak strongly like that, we, we're going to have to start taking heed to what he's saying. Because, you know, he's also, <laughs> he's also a jealous God. He's a holy God. He said, there, there, there's no other God before me. There's, I, he don't, there is nobody but him. So, I want to leave you with this, that love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul. And lift him up any way you can action, word, you know, what you're being. And don't let our ending get in the way. Because, <laughs> you know, that happens to me sometimes. But the Lord knows us. He knows us from the beginning to the end. You know. And I look forward to seeing every one of y'all there. <laughs> I look forward to seeing every one of y'all to rejoice in the Lord forever and ever and ever to be with the Lord. So Praise the Lord. The Lord said He's coming back, so church, get ready. Yeah. And when that word comes really strong, <laughs> accept it because it's written. Make sure it's in the Bible because in a lot of, a lot of places they, don't, they give you their opinion. But make sure it's in the Bible. Make sure it's written because some of these just give their opinion. I've been in a lot of places where the, that opinion doesn't sound right. The way their way it's written. So, lean on the Lord and trust Him with everything you got because He'll lead you and guide you to all truth. So, amen. It's good to be here. Uh, thanks, brother, for inviting me. Didn't mean to go too long, but, but I think I'm here.